What's up, guys? Uh, two things today. Well, I'm back. Awesome. Uh, I haven't been doing any videos lately, and I think it's not fair to you guys who actually care. I don't usually get that much trash crap from my viewers, so... Uh, we're going to be making Hell's Diamond today. Um, I've got a lot of requests from that, but I've only ever had 216, and that just doesn't make the Hell's Diamond look as good as it should. Even with my 432 double, uh, the regular set, it still isn't up to full potential. Um, but you can make it with 216, you can make it with 432, which I will be showing you. Uh, the people that are watching this with 216 balls, you can still make the shape. Just follow the same steps and it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing before we start, I picked up these uh, Bucky Cubes here. And these are pretty cool. I seen them, but I didn't ever have a chance to get them. Uh, so people that have these and want to see some videos of me, uh, please give me some comments or send me a message and let me know what to make. I'm not really good with these. It literally took me four and a half hours to make this cube because they're quite a bit different than these than the balls. Uh, so I'm not gonna break this open right now, but that's okay because we're making a hell's diamond right now. And to get this started. Of course, uh, you're going to need your string of balls ready, which we do. And to start off, uh, you're going to take five balls from the string, like that. And you're going to make a circle out of the five. And you're going to just take your string and wrap it around numerous times. It does not matter how many because you will... You will see later in the video, you can add and subtract the amount of balls you want around here at any stage in the making of the shape. So just, this is pretty well just boundary starter lines. So I'm just going to wrap this around as many times I feel needed. Um, the people that have 216 balls that are doing this, you're not going to be making it nearly, right now you're not going to be making it nearly as big as I am because I also have double the magnets as you so yours will probably when it's finished it'll be smaller than this by the time it's done and it won't look all that good which is crappy for you guys it's even crappy for me with 432 so I maybe go out and get some more um, that should be good it's a nice pentagon everything's symmetrical that's what we want um, I might have to add more I might have to take one, one string off but we don't have to deal with that right now so we can put that to the side we're going to take five balls from our string, put it into a circle, and we're going to test the polarity here, because this is a pretty big factor if you don't want to be flipping your shapes, especially when they get to be this big. Um, so if it goes on like that, that's what you want. You want the balls interlocking in the creases, and if they do this, and you see how those four there are all touching on their face? You don't want that. You want it to look like this. Um, so once you figured that out, um, this isn't concave yet, but when we get shapes like this, you're going to want the concave side facing out. And that will make it that um, it's set up properly. So what you want to do, you want to take, make sure the polarity is good. You want to flip it face down from what it was and it'll fit snug in the middle and you want to make sure the pentagon corners all line up so there, 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 all five line up good it fits firm, good if they are pushing away all you have to do is flip the five over and push it back down um, we can put that to the side for now <coughs> and we'll be making the basics what I'm going to do right now is what we're going to be doing for the whole rest of the video uh, this is the major part, which is still pretty simple to make this complex shape. Just like we were doing, you take five balls, make a circle. We're going to wrap it around. See how the five here had two sides? So two there, two there, all the way around. There's two sides, two balls per side. Well, we're going to double that every time. Well, not double it, we're going to add two. So that had two sides, we're going to make this one have four. So we wrap it around twice. See, so we wrap around once. You see, there's only three balls on the sides. So we're going to wrap around once more. 
like so. And it's a nice symmetrical pentagon, and you notice every side has four balls. So now we have concave. We can test the polarity with it. So go ahead, concave placing out always, and see how mine don't line up. You want it to look like this. Uh, to save you hassle for the whole entire rest of the shape, instead of having to cut these apart or push them down and risk breaking the entire shape and flipping them all the time, and half the time it doesn't even work out properly, and it's just a huge pain in the ass, um, what you can do, which is a bunch easier, uh, we're working on this end of the string, you just flip that over, and you work from the other end. So now the polarity's flipped, so now we won't have to be turning all your shapes inside out as we're making this. So now that I flip this, I won't have to flip these anymore since I flipped the string, which I recommend you guys do, or you guys are going to screw yourself over during the video. So now concave is out, and see how they fit nicely? That's what we want. All right, now we're going to take it exactly like we did with this five. And we're just going to line up the points. It does take a little bit of fiddling. They don't always fit nicely. See, it wants to grab right there. That's not what we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out. And I ended up missing my five that were in there before. So just be really gentle. Have some patience with the shape. It is a pain in the ass. Because you gotta make it through all these magnet boundaries and whatnot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this five back. Alright, now we got that all straightened out. We'll try putting this back in. So make sure it lines up. You want it to fit snug. Just like that. And you want it to be right in the middle. It looks good, it feels good, and it sits in there nicely. It's all symmetrical like I was saying. And now you're going to take your string of balls and you're going to take this top layer off. So you're going to take the top five off. So it looks like that. Now you can already see the Hell's Diamond shape forming. Now you can put this to the side and now we're going to do our major step again. You're going to take five balls. That's six. You're going to take five wrap it around and that one remember how we had four we're gonna add two so we're gonna wrap it around five times so every side will have six balls so two four six every side has six 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 Perfect, just what we want. And now since we flipped our string of balls, the concave side out, it should fit perfectly, which it does. So that's always good. So now you're going to flip always face down. We're going to line up our corners. Try to get it as even in the middle as we can. I'm going to drop in and I screwed up. See that mine's not sitting flush? Don't bother to force it down or anything. If you can, wiggle that thing out. It's kind of difficult. It might take some practice. And go at it again. And once again, I didn't properly get it right in the middle. Either that time. It is difficult. It does take some practice. Some people get it on the first try, like probably all of you, and I'm going to be the guy that screws up. So, I'll try this again. Oh. Problem that I'm having is I got a mixture of Buckyballs and Zen Magnets in here, so the, they are kind of attracting differently. See, it's not fitting nicely, and I can't push it over without breaking the shape. So I'm going to have to pull it back off. And if it does get too stuck and the magnets are pulling too much and you can't seem to get the shape off, don't worry. Just unravel it and rebuild it. It doesn't take much. That's what I'm going to do here. 
I'm just going to unravel that piece that I couldn't fit on. Now we're back to what we have. So, sorry guys, keep you waiting, but I'm just going to quickly go ahead and build what we just did one step ago. I'm going to take my five, I'm just going to wrap it around. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we got two, four, six on every side. I'm going to try putting this back where I got it, if I can, hopefully. Make her fit good. Come on. There. And I still didn't get it. What the hell, eh? Like I say, it's got to be the Zen magnets mixed in with my buckyballs because you guys probably have been waiting for the last five minutes. Try this again. All right, there we go. We got her. Now all the corners line up. It's symmetrical. It's feeling good. Now you're gonna take your string of walls just like we did with the last one we put in. And now we're gonna also we're gonna double this too. So instead of taking the first five off, we're going to take uh, the first two layers off instead of just the regular layer. And you see that already starting to form? Alright, now we're going to put this to the side again. We're going to start it again. Take five balls. Wrap it around. So now our last shape had six on all the sides. We're going to make it so they all have eight. Um, the guys that are doing 216 balls, uh, theirs will already be complete, or should be, and it probably will be half as many, eh, it'd be about this many balls, just half the size. Um, so like I say at the beginning, the 216 guys, you're only going to have like maybe this much for my whole wide that makes any sense, but uh, for the people that have 432 or more, uh, we're going to go ahead and make each side have 8 balls now. So 2, 4, 6, 7, so we got to go around once more. Here we have a little bit of leftover balls we can throw to the side. We'll double check. Two, four, six, eight on every side. Good. And we're going to get, this is our final step. Um, final step for people that have 432 Zen uh, magnets or bucky balls. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, so it already wants to attract wrong. Uh, make sure you check your polarity in case you accidentally flipped it. Mine's still good because we flipped. And we're going to go ahead and just fit that in nice, just like that. Now don't push it because the shape is pretty delicate. And now we're going to take our leftover string. And we're not going to take off the first two. It's going to be the first three layers now. So there's one. Come on. There's two. And one more. So there's three layers. And people that have 432, uh, your Hell's Diamond is now complete. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty easy shape to make. Just gotta follow steps and don't ever forget the finishing touch. You take one ball, throw it right in the bottom of that to finish your pyramid. Looks like that, looks good. Like I said, this is pretty small for 432 balls. Um, imagine what the 216 guess looks like. It's going to be half the size of this. And yeah, and the people that have more than 432 and this video is finishing, like I said, uh, this last step, you just got to put more balls around and around and around just to give you some boundary. And then you just keep repeating. 
you keep adding two to every wall. You keep adding two, so we just did eight. Now you're gonna have uh, sides of 10 each, and then 12, and then 14, and so on. And then you just keep following the steps, and yours will be bigger and bigger. You'll look a lot better than 432. Definitely a lot better than 216. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, send me some comments on what you guys want to see next. Because I'm running out of ideas and I don't have that many balls. Like I say, I'm going to get uh, something moving with these bucky cubes here. But uh, they're a lot more difficult, so I'm going to go ahead and practice with those. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.